Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Mark the Movie Man here. Thank you for joining us here on The Final Cut. And today, I have one for you called Play Hooky. Now, this is, came out a few years ago. It's a found footage film, and it's brought to us by Frank S. Uh, uh, Petrilli. And basically, we get the story of a group of friends who are playing hooky from school. They get together and we kind of follow them as they uh, throughout their day of trying to figure out what to do since they're all skipping school while trying to avoid the truant officers as well as parents. Well, they soon find themselves trapped in an old abandoned psychiatric ward, but they find out it's not quite so abandoned and pretty soon they're running for their lives and wishing possibly they stayed in school rather than played hooky. <laughs> now, found footage films. If you've followed any of my reviews, you know found footage is not my favorite genre. Usually it feels kind of lazy, slapped together, and just an easy way out for some filmmakers. Uh, I will say I have seen some really bad ones, and I've really seen some really good ones, and Play Hooky, I will say, will, is one of the better found footage films that I have seen in a while. Frank S. Petrelli really gives us a, a look at these characters and gets let us get to know them, and I will say it took me aback at first. I was kind of sitting there going, when something really going to happen, you know, up until a certain point, until they hit the psychiatric ward, it just felt like a bunch of kids shooting footage of their day off, you know, so it may not have seemed that interesting, but we do get to learn a lot about the characters, and we get some meat to them, so he doesn't rush into it, even though these characters are similar to the types of characters we've seen before, he still actually takes some time for us to get to know them, and that has a better effect once the trigger is pulled, and the really creepy stuff starts to happen at the psychiatric uh, uh, hospital where they're at. So at first I didn't quite get what they were going for, but then when the trigger was pulled and really things start to pick up, I'm like, ah, I see, because I'm actually invested in these characters and don't want anything bad to happen in them, though you know something bad at least is going to happen to some of them. Now, the group of characters he does put together, even though they are a bit of your stereotypical types in a group teenage horror film like this, I thought the chemistry between them was really uh, well done. This poor girl who is kind of the odd man out that you get in these types of groups of films, uh, uh, characters in these films, uh, you know, uh, I felt sorry for her. I really did. Uh, you, you know, they're, they're, they're a bit mean to her, uh, and they kind of warm up to her throughout, but, you, you know, she really it makes it a little bit tough for them, and they aren't exactly easy on her. So you, she's probably the character that I felt the worst uh, for, okay? <laughs> but they're all interesting characters, and, and the fact that we got to learn about them I thought was interesting in this. Now, as far as the creepy horror stuff goes, when things pick up, they really pick up, and I liked how they were handled with the camera. Camera. This was all shot on a flip camera, apparently, and this DVD that I have actually was presented by the Polygrind Festival, and I can see why, because even shot on a flip camera and being a found footage film, uh, I never got too much shaky cam going on, you know, what you do sometimes get in these found footage films where you can't tell what's going on. There are points where you are, but you're not supposed to kind of add to that panic, but there's a great balance in there, and it's, it's shot very well, especially considering what it was shot on. The performances are handled well, as I mentioned before, and we do get some blood and gore effects in here as well. Not a whole lot, but a little bit in here, and uh, that looked decent too. Uh, really, it is a well-done film for the amount of time they shot it on, which was like seven days, on a flip camera with a very little budget, and being a found footage film. I wasn't really expecting much from it, but what I got was an interesting film, one of the better found footage films that I have seen, and I think it's definitely worth your time if you are a fan of this genre or looking for something just a little bit different in your independent horror films. While it does take a little while to get going, once they do get it going, things get very interesting. I have to uh, mention that there's this one shot later on, and I'm trying not to spoil it, but there's a conversation that's going on, and it's kind of uh, an important conversation in the plot, and in the background, Around, there's this sign about children. I think it's uh, children are the hope of our future, the uh, precious. Uh, I forgot what exactly said, but I loved it because it was a little extra attention to detail because it pertained to the conversation the people were having. And I really caught that and I'm like, okay, they put a little extra thought in the shots that they have. Now, you may have a little tough time for them getting past, you know, shooting all the time, but they established that fairly well too. So, you know, everything in this is set up well. You can tell it was thought out more so than some found footage films and the performances and direction in here will keep you interested, I think. So check it out 
if you can. Uh, it's called Play Hooky. If you have watched it, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We got a lot of great things still coming up. Uh, all kinds of great indie horror films. And then we're going to do some more wide release stuff too. Plus, we're coming up on our ninth anniversary. So I'm trying to plan something special for that as well. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much for your support as always. And until next time, keep that ticket stuff. Thank you.